If you're seeing a dramatic change in your partner's sexual habits, it might not be a good thing. Research suggests a sharp increase in sex drive or even jealous accusations could be an early warning sign for dementia. Research indicates hypersexuality, which is an excessive preoccupation with sexual fantasies, urges, or behaviors. It may be one of the earliest signs of something known as frontotemporal dementia, FTD for short. In some cases, maybe even Alzheimer's. And we wanted to talk about this because people always associate dementia with just losing your memory, cognitive decline, but sometimes behaviors may be the first thing to change. And in, in the case of FTD, you would never think hypersexuality could be a symptom of early dementia. Jay, but in this I case, it know. is. What's excessive preoccupation? <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Yours is healthy, healthy, <laughs> Dr. Orden. <laughs> yeah. <Something here> like <laughs> But frontal temporal dementia is very different because people are looking for those signs of, is their memory declining? Well, that's not really what happens in frontal temporal dementia. It really is a manifestation of behaviors first for most of these individuals. And the behaviors are things very similar, sadly, to antisocial personality behaviors in that they're more disinhibited. They seem like they lack empathy. They have difficulties controlling their impulses. And oftentimes that leads to this sort of progressive sexual addiction sort of quality where they start to look at porn, they start to become hypersexual, and maybe even cheating, having sex with multiple strangers. And there was a case, a case study of a 69-year-old in which this happened. Wife confronted him. He didn't seem to care. Again, that apathy. And later on, they found out that he actually had frontal temporal dementia. And so my understanding, Judy, is that this actually occurs in younger people than the typical Alzheimer symptoms, correct? Right. So frontal temporal dementia is the third leading cause of dementia. So Alzheimer's is the first, Lewy body's the second. And so with frontal temporal dementia, the onset tends to be between the ages of 45 to 65, when you're not even really looking for dementia for most people. Right. And you're still sexually active. Like yeah. You're like... Mm -hmm. So at first you maybe kind of like it, and then it gets overboard, and no, no, it's actually something else. But, so where do you think, like, for someone out there watching who thinks that their loved one may be acting a little bit differently, what are the watch signs? Like, where is it too much? So I think a lot of times what you find is that communication with that person becomes more difficult because a lot of people with frontal temporal dementia will have language deficits. So in Alzheimer's, the first thing that you see is memory deficits. In frontal temporal dementia, if they're going to have any cognitive issues, it's going to be language first. So that's another additional thing to look but for. But it's also, when we think of hypersexuality, we may be thinking of our traditional pornographic images, but, but think about it mm -hmm. from the perspective of inappropriate hypersexuality. Nice. It may be that your loved one just starts pleasuring themselves and you're at a dinner party yes. and they start pleasuring themselves. Or it, it or makes, it's so really inappropriate, inappropriate and yeah. shocking. People randomly. Right, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. And, and then that should be the red flag, which is very different than, well, my husband has slept around with 10 different women and he, he tells me it's because he has frontotemporal oh dementia. Gosh, that, is, that is something, can you imagine? people do that. Well, oh. I heard on the doctors that, <laughs> Yeah. I just, That's honey, I'm I so have. sorry. I'm not I, a I, cheater. Right. We're talking about men having this. Women can get this too. Absolutely. You're right. I'm Absolutely. so sorry. I know. This We're like saying all the guy gets crazy. Dementia. Well, I think we should also like, clarify before people start using this as a justification <laughs> for behavior <laughs> that this is much more rare than Alzheimer's. Sadly, oh. Alzheimer's affects about 5 million Americans. This is more on the order of 50 to 60,000. So, so much, much less common. This should not be your first thought necessarily. Yeah. Right. But I agree with you. If someone starts acting completely out of the ordinary and it's it's really aberrant for them, rather than it just being like, a, well, I heard it on the doctors. I'm going to justify my okay. behavior. You know, right. you, sh you should just have this kind of in Well, in and if thought. you realize that this is actually, in fact, you got the diagnosis. This is what your loved one has. Don't shame them, even if they're doing these really inappropriate things in public. Usually you just let them know it's not appropriate. And you try your best to distract them or redirect them. That's the best thing you can do to try at least to minimize and, the and intrusion. diagnosis is based on clinical signs, symptoms, but also x-ray studies, scans Absolutely. of the brain, which could differentiate. Is there, in fact, something going on in which type of right. dementia? You will dementia. see the degeneration of the frontal and temporal lobes right. if you do the imaging study. So don't go around, again, saying, I have this, and that's why I'm being crazy. No. We're going to have a list of some of the symptoms to look out for versus Alzheimer's disease on our website, thedoctorstv.com.